we got so far from uh, differential geometry? So the tools that we got from differential geometry so far, we got a language and uh, more than the language, we got some useful theorems. So we got Frobenius, for example. Which says, if I have a distribution, it's integrable if and only if it is in volume. And uh, we got what sometimes people refer to as orbit theorem. I have a family of vector fields. So uh, the tangent space to the orbit of this family through a point is given by the Lie infinity of the family at that point for all x in the orbit. And these two facts, the necessary and sufficient and the exact equality, these are for what we call Lie determined systems. The name is very expressive. Systems whose characteristics are determined by Lie brackets and Lie derivatives. So Lie determined systems. This includes regular C infinity and analytic. So delta and f should be Lie determined for these theorems to hold. Uh, if this condition is not satisfied, we just have sufficiency, which is, so using these two theorems from differential geometry, this is pure differential geometric language, Cho and Rashevsky, Cho, I mean, the, the theorem is famous for Cho, but actually Rashevsky got it before. It says that if you were, for this theorem, we don't need to have an electricity or anything, that's okay. So uh, if you were Lie brackets, covers the tangent space for all x, then of course your orbit through any point will be the entire m. You will reach all points in m from any point in m. Okay? So um, then we said, does this imply controllability? I can reach all points in M, from any points in M. Does this imply controllability? They said, well, the orbits are a bit different from the reachable sets. We have a directionality issue. So this invoked the following definition for accessibility. So uh, this implies, this condition is satisfied, implies that your reachable set around x naught, from x naught, it can be something like that, or it can be something like that. These are the reachable sets. So we call this property accessibility, and we call this property small time local controllability. In either case, we need the lead brackets to cover the entire tangent space. In either case, we need to cover the entire tangent space, okay? So covering the entire tangent space does not ensure controllability yet. It might give us accessibility, some biased bias in directionality. Here I can go through all directions in my neighborhood. So building upon all of that, we have the first theorem for accessibility, which is very expected now by Sisman and Georgievich. It's the classical paper in Geometric Control Theory, 1972. And you guys are expecting it now. So sigma is just uh, our manifold family of vector field U. So it's a control affine system is accessible 
from x naught in M if and only if the Lie infinity of this family at x naught is equal to T x naught M. Okay? Talk about if and only if, so actually sigma must be Lie determined. So uh, this is uh, regular C infinity or analytic. I'll, I'll just write analytic for short. This condition, what we refer to as the algebraic rank condition. For short, log. We're going to refer to it many, many times. Okay? The algebraic rank condition. So get your Lie brackets over and over again. Construct all the combinations of your Lie brackets. Complete it at the point, get the span. You must cover the entire tangent space. Do we need to go to infinity? Because we will never be able to go to infinity, right? Luckily, no. So uh, we have this uh, lemma that if x is a regular point, x naught is a regular point. So if we're talking about analyticity, it's OK. So a regular point, x is a regular point, there exists some n natural number, uh, might depend on x naught, of course, and the neighborhood u of x naught such that the Lie infinity of your family at any x is given by the Lie infinity, not infinity, sorry, the Lie n at this x for all x in the neighborhood. Okay? So it means simply that uh, we, we are sure that we will not go to infinity. We are sure that there, there is some n. Hopefully it's not that far, it's not like 1000 Lie brackets, but there is some n, there is some finite n for which we will cover this thing. Okay? So let's apply this theorem to uh, conclude accessibility. So we have our system x dot equals u, y dot equals x squared, the system that we considered last time. So this is my x, y, and let's consider the interesting case where u was bounded. So this is the origin, this was the reachable set. Something like that. Anyway, so this guy is, if you remember, this was the reachable set from the origin in at most time t. And you can see it has interior points, right? This is an interior point, this interior point has infinitely many interior points. So just by looking at the reachable set from the basic definition, we conclude what? That this system is what? This system is what? The reachable set has non empty interior. This means what? Hmm. Accessible, that's right. Yes. So, by looking at the reachable set, you can determine from the basic definition, but who will go and compute the reachable set? It's very hard to compute the reachable set for this two dimension example. It took us to solve an optimal control problem, not only an optimal control problem. We were very lucky to have an analytical solution. In general, we would not be able to complete the reachable set. And actually, it's an entire branch by itself. It would be a very nice project for one of you if you, uh, you know, uh, study how to compute reachable sets and, and make it your project. <coughs> so we'll not, do, we'll not go this route. Luckily, now we have a computational tool. We have an analysis tool. Just go and compute the brackets, please. So uh, this system. I can write it as something plus something times u. So I can fill in these things now. It's 1 and 0, and this is 0 and x squared. This is f, this is g. Compute all your Lie brackets. Start with no Lie brackets. So this is Lie 0 of f. My family f is just little f and g. 
So I will evaluate this guy at the origin. Evaluate it at the origin. So uh, when you evaluate f at the origin, you get zeros. And you have this guy as the span of 1, 0. I can move along the x-axis only. Now if we go one more thing, so the Lie bracket between f and g is computed according to the definition. So this is 0, negative 2x. When you evaluate it at the origin, you get 0, so you get nothing. So I go one more step. So uh, f, g, and g. When you do that, you get 0 and 2. Now I added one more direction, right? a new direction. I had no motion along the x, and now I can move along the y as well. So actually, my the infinity of f at 0 is the same as z2, right? Just two steps and I covered everything. So I should stop. I will not get any new things because I'm two dimensions and I cover two dimensions. The span of this guy is r2, right? And what is the tangent space of this plane at this point? What's the tangent space of r2? What's the tangent space of R2? X-axis. The entire R2. It's R2, right? So this is actually T0 R2, right? So it covers the entire tangent space. So this is what we refer to as the log. This is the log property. I'm covering the entire tangent space, and the log implies what? The log, the log implies accessibility. So sigma, my control system, is accessible from the origin. OK? So I have a, a computational tool. I don't need to go and compute the reachable set, which is very hard to characterize. Here, I just do the bracketing until I am done. Let's consider this very familiar example. x dot equals ax plus b1 u1 plus bm um. You have a homework, right? Your homework is due today, right? Yes. Okay. So um, this is my f, right? This is my g1, this is my gm, and they are constants. The g's are constants, right? So uh, I want to determine if this system is accessible from the origin or not. I'm going to compute Lie brackets. So what is Lie 0 f at the origin? Just evaluate the f and g's. So f at the origin is 0. g's at the origin are constants. So this is just b1 up to bm. If you lump them in a matrix, it's just called the matrix b, right? So uh, this is the D0. What about D1? Let's compute the D bracket between F and G. And you guys just did it, right, in your homework. What's the D bracket between F and G here? This was negative A times B. Actually, you proved more. You proved that what is the add F, K, G, J. This is what you proved. It was negative 1 to the k, a, k, b, right? OK. So, uh, so now what is Lee 1 of f at 0 is, well, I'm doing first order Lee bracket. It's just a times the b's, right? So this is a, b's, the span of a, b's. OK? Span of a, b. And uh, yada, yada. Lee k, if any k, order k, 0. This is the span of, as we see from here, it's a to the k, b. Correct? Any question about that? When do I stop? When do I stop? Any suggestion? Rank of a. What? Rank of a. Rank of a. The rank of A. No. What's the intuition for that? 
So, uh, well, for an example by example, I will keep going until either I'm not getting something new or I'm covering the entire tangent space, right? Okay, so I'm keep going and going from B to AB, this is a new matrix. From AB to A square B, a new matrix, and so and so. And remember, from linear algebra, Kylie Hamilton theorem. What does it say? Anybody remembers? It's one of the theorems that is easy to memorize, that's what I'm asking. Kylie Hamilton theorem. Square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation, right? So, uh, characteristic equation of a square matrix is something like that lambda to the n plus a n minus 1, lambda n minus 1, yada yada plus a1, lambda plus a0 equals 0, and you solve this to get the eigenvalues of the matrix, right? So, you can replace lambda by your matrix and still satisfies this equation. So, in particular, I can have my a to the n in one side in terms of the other guy, summation k from 0 to n minus 1, a k lambda to the k, so a to the k, right? Which means the a to the n doesn't provide any new information, it's already contained in all the previous k's, which means that I don't need to go beyond the n minus 1. a n is not providing any new information. So, this means that I'm up to here, Lee n minus 1, f at 0, is just the span of a n minus 1 and b, and I'm sure that what is next is not providing any new information. So actually, this is the Lee infinity of f at the origin is the span of b, a, b, right? All these guys until a minus 1, b. And for this system to be accessible, the log says what? The log demands what? The log demands what? That the D infinity is what? Hmm. Come on guys, the log demands what? It's equal to Lee to n minus 1. To what? To Lee n minus 1. No, the log is about Lee infinity. We already got the Lee infinity. The Lee infinity must do what for the log to be satisfied? Space. Yeah, so this guy, the log says that this guy must be the tangent space, which is Rm, right? So for this thing to cover Rm, this is if and only if the rank of this guy be AB 